The Gianco Foundation held its annual Hollywood Gala on Friday, September the 29th last week at the One Hotel to raise funds for programs focused on vulnerable women and children in Nigeria. Events proceeds will support the David Oyelowo Leadership Scholarship for Girls, which provides full tuition, housing, healthcare and social care to young female victims of gender equality in Nigeria. This unique scholarship uplifts and empowers brilliant girls in volatile, challenging circumstances. Donations will also underwrite Gienko's November 2023 special surgical mission to Nigeria. The gala is supported by leading figures in the entertainment industry, such as Benedict Cumberbatch, Honorary Chair, Chiwetel Ejiofor, Gala Chair, David Oyelowo, Gala Chair and 2023 Gates Foundation Goalkeepers event host, Foleg Olawafeku, Gala Chair, and previous gala honorees and Oscar winners, Charlize Theron and Forrest Whitaker. Previous gala guests include actors Rosario Dawson, The Mandalorian, and Ayasaka, Scott Eastwood, Fast and Furious franchise, Ava DuVernay, award-winning producer, director, and writer, and Sam Adedoki, Dynasty. Just as we reported last week, Meghan and Harry were not invited to the Foundation's gala last Friday, despite the company Archwell announcing that the Sussexes had donated to Gianco to support 2,500 schoolgirls in Nigeria. Reading that report, what struck me most was that they didn't specify how many filled backpacks Archwell funded. There are 15 girls in the photo with backpacks, but the report specifies 2,500 girls will be educated about menstrual health. According to a source on Blind Item, Gianco Foundation CEO Afam Onyema thanked those who've contributed greatly to the organisation in his speech, but he didn't mention Meghan and Harry. Afam was sent asked by a reporter about the Sussex's contribution, the CEO had a quick answer. They've only provided a bare minimum number of backpacks to limit expenditure. But put it in the 2,500 number to deliberately obscure the facts. It would be easy to read it as them providing 2,500 backpacks, but that's not what it actually says. I remember 15 backpacks for 15 girls lining up for photo ops. It looks like they gave $2, but write down the total donations were $2 million. Experts say that after Meghan's scandal with New York students in recent days, her fraud exposed by the Gianco Foundation is probably increasing detrimental to her election chance after Dianne Feinstein's death. Dianne Feinstein, a senator for California, who served for 30 years, has only just died, and Meghan has had PR pieces put out to make it look like she wants the position. It's long been speculated that this is what she's been aiming for since she arrived in the United States in 2020. She's become involved in many political causes, including ringing Republican senators on their private phone numbers about family leave. The icing on the cake, so to speak, was using a royal title. It's not like the senators cared. Americans don't do royal titles. Calling yourself the Duchess of Sussex means nothing in America. Indeed, she should know that. Meghan has been eyeing politics for years, and there's no doubt that she wanted the female senator's seat. However, she'd have to give up a royal title. She'll never do this as it makes her feel important. 